upgrades I did with the Model 3. Now, many of you might not consider doing certain things to your Model 3, but I hope this video helps you guys in making that decision once you get your Model 3 or if you have your Model 3 and what you want to do with it. Um, we'll start off with the exterior. So first off from the front end, you can't really see it, but we have a clear bra from Suntec that is installed on the hood, the front bumper, and this is a full front bumper protection, headlamps, fog lights, fenders, as well as rear view mirrors. So all those are wrapped in a film made by Suntec. It's a five year warranty. This helps with protecting your front end from rock chips, debris, insect, bugs, etc. And it helps also preserve your paint. In addition, it makes it a lot easier to clean your vehicle. So you wouldn't have to repaint your hood or your bumper in the future if you do decide you need to sell your Model 3 or you wanna keep your Model 3 in mint condition. So something to consider. There's multiple players out there. Uh, some people prefer Expel because it's thicker, but Expel, there's a orange peel look to it um, that not many people like. Uh, Suntech, we went with Suntech because it's the cleanest look. It doesn't look like you actually have one install. Um, there's also 3M, but not as thick as Expel. Uh, I believe Expel is the only manufacturer that offer 10-year warranty. So definitely do your research, see what works best for you guys, but I highly recommend installing this for not just your Model 3, but on any of your Tesla or any of your vehicle that you have if it's brand new. Not too sure uh, if it's worth it. If you've driven your car for a while and there's already chips on it, it might not be worth it to install that afterwards. Moving on, we have Nano Ceramic Tint from 3M. 20% all the way around, including the sunroof. In my previous video, I mentioned the biggest challenge to install the tent is this back window here. It's really close to the front passenger door here, and it goes all the way down to your trunk lid. So a lot of the tent places didn't have, or didn't have the film large enough to be able to tint this in one place. So we were able to find a certified 3M place that is able to do this in one piece and we think it looks really nice. Um, so definitely call your tent place if you are interested in tinting your Model 3 beforehand and ask them if they work on Model 3 Z4 and if they can actually tint the back window in one piece. Everything else is pretty much standard. Um, any tent place can do these windows with no problems at all. We are planning to tint the front windshield um, with a Higher percentage, of course, but we haven't done so uh, just to help reduce the, the heat that is entering the cabin. We also have C-Court nano ceramic coating on this Model 3, and we actually installed this ourselves because having somebody else put this on costs a significant amount of money. But if you have that money, I would recommend having a professional do it. Um, we have a lighter car color, so it's not perfect, but it's good enough to protect the car so we don't have to wax it or seal it with any sealants um, for at least five years or so. And as long as we wash the car with a neutral solution, it should still preserve this coating. And this coating is basically another layer of a clear coat that protects your paint from the elements. Uh, outside when you're driving uh, through rain, mud, debris, uh, bugs, etc. And popping out that color and those lines that you can actually see where you can't if you didn't have nano ceramic coating on your car. From the tint, you will also know that we blacked out all the chrome trim. So these were all chrome, including the rear mirror. Um, mount here as well as the door handle. I actually did this myself. I used a 3M film. It was pretty easy to do the window trim. The difficult one was the rear mirror uh, mount here. I had to 
put a lot of heat using a hair dryer to actually vent the film the way I like it without any seams. The door handle is actually a pre-cut from RPM Tesla. It is a carbon fiber look to it as well as the side marker from your fender. So I used a pre-cut that was pretty easy to install. You just uh, park your car outside, get some heat on it, and then you apply it. There's uh, some videos from the owner from RPM Tesla to show you how to install this. And it helps, especially on hot days. This is actually some sort of metal. Um, it does get really hot and it can actually burn your hand if you're in the right climate and it parked outside for a while. So putting the film on definitely does help prevent that, especially if you have younger kids that uh, have more sensitive skin, then something to consider. They do have it in clear, white, any color that will match your car. So I'll post a link to their, their website and also their promo code. Okay. And in the back here, also from RPM Tesla, we have a carbon fiber spoiler. So the dimension of this carbon fiber spoiler is exactly the same that uh, you would see on the performance version that is currently being produced. Um, I think for the price of this carbon fiber spoiler, it's actually a steal. Uh, there's other places that charge three to four times more. And Tesla, you can't even get it directly from them unless you order their performance version of the Model 3. Um, what else? So we did take off the air wheels. Uh, we only put the air wheels back on when we're taking a long road trip. All the emblems are blacked out. And we got this from RPM Tesla as well. It's pre-cut. So let's step inside and see other modification that we've done with the Model 3 interior. Um, first off, the aluminum pedals. I just personally like the look of this and the feel of this. Uh, it doesn't enhance your vehicle in any way other than aesthetic, of course. Same thing with the center council. So this is the wood vinyl wrap. Um, I highly recommend wrapping your center council for your Model 3 because with the premium package it comes with a cover that is piano black and is glossy. It scratches really easily. So preserve that. Um, or if you like the piano black, then purchase a clear um, wrap and you can actually get this also from RPM Tesla. I also have a radar detector that helps with getting to places a little quicker than I should. Um, dash cam. So Tesla hasn't rolled out the firmware update to to open up the autopilot cameras uh, to be able to record as dash cam. So currently I'm using um, a dash cam 1080p and I'll put the link to where you guys can purchase that. But I basically run the wire along here and down uh, and I made a video on that as well and into the phone charger so I, I bought a splitter uh, for the USB and that's where it's getting its power from also install a wireless I'm not sure you guys can see that but wireless uh, charger fast charger on here so this will allow any phone that has wireless charging capability. All they have to do is just place the phone on here and it start charging. On the right, I still have a lightning port just in case if my passenger doesn't have wireless charging, then they can use this. I have the honeycomb floor mats because this is really the only all weather formats currently available. Uh, might upgrade that to another uh, version um, depending on who makes them later in the future. But uh, so far this has been holding up really well. Better. I do also recommend getting the mat for your truck because the material, the material that comes um, 
with the Model 3 is not that durable. I mean, just putting some boxes, grocery is already scuffling up. So after we got this mat, we just toss everything in with not a care in the world and it's holding up really well. Remember to hit that subscribe button. Hitting that subscribe button helps with continuing this channel and helps me develop uh, further videos and more informative as well as getting notification on future updates with Model 3 and Tesla products. Thanks for watching.